or might automatically create solution, right? But that is not the big challenge. The challenge is problem solvers, correct? So how do we create from from all of you and from others that can become part of this community? We want to create a lot of problem solvers. In this case, we want to use tech as a solution maker, correct? So we are not saying that we, we might not be very good at going to the field and maybe helping the farmers, etc. We might not be very good at building new transportation systems. But using technology, which is what you all love, no? many of you love front end, there is uh, back end lovers here, there is designers, so people who like designs are thinking, okay? So using the skills, what can we do, right? So he, uh, with that idea, and especially FOSS, everybody knows FOSS, right? Okay? All of you know FOSS, so free and open source software. So it was a, uh, this, uh, this actor, you can see some of these people from Deroda Foundation, different organizations, we all sat, number of the, like we are sitting today, we all sat together and we, was, we started thinking, oh, how can we use software technology for us, for social good? These problems of the software, problems we all talked, listened about other problems. So how can we solve these problems with technology? Why are it, uh, you, see, you hear a lot of tools about pressing a button to get a cab, okay? but is that India's biggest problem? But why aren't we hearing more like pressing a button to uh, get other services, social goods, services, mental health support, right? And things like, why don't we hear about those solutions? Because nobody is working on it, right? There's no money in it, right? The reason Uber is that they have investment, there is a model, etc., and things like that. In this, you need more than money. You need the will to solve a problem. That is one. Second is, no, these are very, the problems that all of you mentioned, the reason that they are not solved so far, these are very complex problems, correct? So, a uh, lot of people who come to uh, the social sector or who want to work on, uh, who are already wanting to do that, they think that most of the tough problems are sitting in Uber and maybe Figma and etc. I think those are real, I'm not, I don't want to trivialize Cherada come and tell that, but those are actually not very, imagine trying to solve a problem for a farmer who has, uh, whose uh, entire crop is gone. That is a much more tougher problem to solve than something else. <coughs> so these are very tough problems, right? So but how can we uh, use some of these solutions? You know, we started sitting around it, and uh, I'll just give you. Yeah. So every time we want to solve a problem, so think of this presentation also as a learning experience for you, right? Le any problem we solve we have to first understand who are, who are stakeholders of the problem. Rather, the problem we to solve here, all these people have to work together. Let us say, farmers in the problem solve here, where do farmers in the problem will be able to solve the problem? We won't be able to. No? Who else is required to solve farmer problems? Government representatives are there. Then farmers are also there. Anyone else? Dealers. Uh, yeah, dealers, agencies. Huh? Little louder. It's okay. Intermediaries, dealers, intermediaries, who are selling from here and here. Ah, anyone? Thank you. Anyone? Huh? Community, people have to buy, no? If nobody is buying, then what is? And other community, very good. Anyone else? Right? So any problem that you want to solve, no? the first thing, and this is very important in any project that you do, right? We also took the same approach. Because we wanted to solve, okay, how can we create a lot of technology uh, enabled solutions for social problems? Before we went and created the solution, first we thought who are the people uh, who will be affected by this problem, correct? So these are the different communities. Namla uh, tech for social good is the parango, who are the different kinds of people that we have to think about? It is in the land and correct? Vulnerable communities. And one of the biggest uh, uh, people that work with vulnerable communities are frontline workers. Frontline workers who are not really going to in our parent. Asha worker, Anganwadi worker, primary schools, the teachers are there. Like people who actually go to the field, right? The MLAs and government officials are probably sitting somewhere and managing. But actual work is a bus driver, a bus conductor, all those people are frontline workers, correct? Uh, health workers, doctors, uh, nurses, they are okay with it, right? So they are also, when we think about technology solutions for social change, these are all people that we should think about. Right? If we only think about one person and try to solve the problem, we will not be able to solve it. Right? Next is student techies volunteers. This is technology for social good at the moment. 
without technology and uh, students and volunteers and people like you or even maybe one time you might take this up as a full time job, you know. I work, this is a full time job for me, it's not a hobby for me. And I earn a salary. Like I said, we are not not for profit, we are a not for loss <laughs> company, we don't make company. And we have all our staff members here, there is Sona is there, Aisha is there, Jinsu is there. For us it's a job also, what we do. And, but apart from that, there are students, there are volunteers also who come and join because we need all kinds of people to solve the problem, right? The next is POS and IT, uh, free and open source software management, right? If everybody started closing the software, then it is not available to us. Then the problems are solved, and uh, from the beginning we have the right code. That is not possible, right? Then we need government in there, we need the funders. Funders are available, we have to do the same thing. Software, so then we have, for example, we are funded by Zero Dollar. Everybody knows Zero Dollar. Right? So Zero Dollar is a tech, fintech company. Then we are also uh, supported by Roini Nilekemi, uh, Nandan Nilekemi. I am also in the founders, they are supported. So different people, Amazon also supports some of their projects, etc. So I mean, you need funders also to solve the problem. So it takes for social good that is there, problem solving and any. These are the different people that have to come together. That's one thing that you have, have to understand, right? You look at some of the details in the I am just putting it back here, right? Vulnerable communities, girls, children at risk, rural communities, etc. etc. You know, all the things that you have mentioned. You know, change makers uh, NGO, who is helping you know, uh, Akshay Patra, Gunj, and organizations, they are the change makers. Right? Tinker is a change maker also. We are also uh, not, not for loss kind of organizations, so we'll come here. Then there are service providers. Service providers in the tech in the partners of technology, different tech tools, in communities in there, Google developers, communities, the rest of the community in town. So you have to be, we have to work closely with, right? In this field, you will be working with many of them as well. Then the government, with government also we have like in some states, we have a partnership with Karnataka State Government to improve panchayat uh, their efficiency in uh, 150 with 150 panchayat members. So we have partnership with the government to implement our tools also. So they are also very important for this. You know, then funders that I told you, correct? So if it is, we started thinking together. Now, uh, this is, for NGOs, what is the problem, right? For uh, very far under the time, we looked at different problems, no? So for NGOs, the problem is, for right tech printer, and, we'll, and everybody knows, no? There is so much, today we stop writing new code, Existing code in the world will run. There is no new, but so many developers are there, they keep writing new code, right? So ultimately there is a lot of tech that is available that NGOs can use, but they are not able to use the tech, right? Our tech will average of a thing that they are not able to leverage the tech. And the reason is that for the government, sometimes our tech in the government, Tech to a solution or to get in Chalko, there might not be a reason for them. But mostly it is very complicated for them. Yeah. They are not very good with tech. Number of skill sets are very right? So that is one reason. Avarika awareness, someone said awareness, right? They just don't know that, oh, this is a tool, oh, notion we can use for website, I don't have to make a website. They might not know. Cost, many times they cannot hire a full time developer for solving these problems, so they have budget issues, etc. Uh, then these things take time. It takes a lot of time. So website in the morning, the app in the I enjoy it for a summer thing to So for that. So uh, when we talk to, uh, so what we did is we then talk to all these stakeholders. Some the requirements of Kerala. Right. So change makers who are we need knowledge, some of the guidance We need to inspire, inspiration like to They do something we will also do. So I mean so they will have a for a needs and for the NGO. So all your stakeholders in that to point it, we spoke, like we spoke to all of you. Many of you said that you want to work on real world problems, correct? Many of you said you want to work with their uh, communities. Some of you also are looking for jobs, right? Some of you are looking for experience, learning and So like that we spoke to a lot of different people to understand what are their needs because we are we have to create a community yeah, which we have to follow. Then based on that we realize that we have to create an entire path. 
basically first we want to show you some tools so in the session basically we call it uh, l1 to l4 le l1 na today session is l1 for all of you right we want to just help you understand what are the problems so adhil will share here to meet other people like you so most of the people in the room came here because they wanted to do something about this problem right so adhil will show you some tools okay after the session right then we will it will go to the next level it is ngos ne ingenta ideas ata adhi kaanuko it becomes better and better so i will oh are that into using or erp system to manage their uh, day to day operations we also want to use it now for implement ad implement cheyan vendite they need some support right pasha uh, process vendi kaana we have been trying to put together something better so, basic so what we have done is in the session this will take you to the next session it is can everybody see i can draw to you but i'm not able to Yeah, I think it's 
it's similar to Robin Rani. Maybe I'll show it uh, for So this is a uh, either a different uh, tool. Or so in the movie answer, we use a so this is built totally, sorry. This is Robin Hood Army is totally built on open source software. Tomorrow you want to create your own Robin Hood Army Manadri website, you can just go to GitHub, clone it, and you can create, so this is Robin Hood for meals. What else can you create it for? Clothes. Uh, sorry? Clothes. Clothes, good idea. Any others? Hygiene products. Hygiene products, people have requirements, and they can just use Robin Hood Army to deliver hygiene uh, products to the world. Electronic equipments, gadgets, you want to recycle them or even buy, like I said, anything like uh, low cost and even electronic equipments. Work. So, wherever you demand in the for supply in the connecting on my detail, or another tool on it is plus it's open source. And right? So, you can, of course, if you are interested, you can also create the phone thing, but at the end, you can also, a lot of NGOs are doing similar work. So, when you in the number later in a phone book, we'll introduce you to a lot of NGOs in the problem statements, right. About problem statement in Anunga, you should be able to say, write to them and say that, hey, I really like what you are doing. So, real life is coming out. So, session of the after two weeks, you go to the forum and you will see, oh, somebody is asking for a supply dimension. So, you can send them, okay, I think I can help you with this because I saw an example. And I will uh, understand how they have done it and I will do it for you. There is no need to do any new coding. Correct? Uh, so, in the late track, I am going to Happy or any other open source Python JS in the framework on that. Uh, next is group growth. So this was a very interesting problem statement. Right? Either I go, what is alternative climate change in buying the interest on that? Everybody, I heard a lot of people talking about climate change. Okay. But then there was no place for them to talk with each other about it. You know, Reddit in the forum of Reddit, Twitter of Reddit, but that is buying the noise side. What is alternative to that? For a specific kind of forum in that. Correct? After you grow with the Manatari uh, funders in there, so they use uh, e-platform and disposal or material open source uh, software and there. you see that there are uh, simple ideas for a uh, and, uh, forum created within one day, correct? And then what they do is, if they are interested in the conversations and then people post, like-minded people. So they will post some question and people can reply. So when there is, how do how can people communicate so on like-minded issues? In a, what's the problem? So they created a tech, over a technology, they created a forum. All people are able to join. If 